time now for our VIP Chautauqua with Cable 8's James Reed. And tonight, James introduces us to the creative project that's all about sharing the gifts of creativity as given by the creator. VIP Chautauqua is brought to you by Reed's Jewelers. Over the course of the last half year, local artists have been coming together once monthly to share their artistic creations, covering all kinds of media, including music. Behind it all is a local church, Westminster Presbyterian, and their director of worship and outreach, a lifelong supporter of the arts herself. I got interested in art actually when I was really a kid, and it just came a place for me to be able to like to express myself. And I grew up in a community that was more rural and didn't really have a lot of resources that way so whatever I had to learn was at school and over the years it just became evident to me that in our area I mean we have city environment but a lot of people do live in a, like we're, we're far apart from each other and so I was thinking as an outreach of our church it would be a good idea to bring people together and kind of share our ideas and see how that would look and what that's kind of turned into a monthly get-together um, that um, people share just different kinds of art and different kinds of music and just it kind of is really broad spectrum but it's really supposed to build community and give us a place to meet people. As to the origin of the artist share concept. I was sitting at home one day and had an, an idea of like well what if we just got together and um, really feel that that was an inspiration that God gave. Um, but I called the Arts Council and they said that they were interested in helping us out and giving us a space every now and then and Today we're using our, our worship space out here at the Y Lake Lodge and um, it just has been a really neat process to see how it all has come together really in a few months. It's only been since um, August of 07 since we've been doing this once a month. So one might ask, and indeed I did, what does art have to do with the church and vice versa? The church actually is a place where art really during the Renaissance was really a life-giving thing. Um, the church actually would commission pieces of art to be made to help with expressing an idea, expressing a story, um, getting a point across. And unfortunately, it seems like there's been a drop off in that interest in arts. Um, so I thought, why not kind of go back to that idea of building those connections and helping each other to um, get the point across and to encourage each other and give art a place in the church again. All right. Thanks, James. Now be sure to join us again next week for part two of our profile of Tara Eastman and the Artist Share Project. We'll let you know more about the next scheduled event when you tune in then. In the meantime, an Artist Share spinoff of sorts is launching this coming Sunday evening. A combination worship service and creative arts event, The Kiln, is set to run from 6 o'clock to 8 that night. For more information, you can consult the website listed there on the screen. Time now for our VIP Chautauqua with Cable 8's James Reed and part two of our profile of a local woman who's introducing the area to the concept of art of the people, by the people, and for the people. VIP Chautauqua is brought to you by Reed's Jewelers. Over the course of the last six months, local artists have come together to share their photography, their creative writing, their acoustic music, etc., culminating in a big reception held earlier this month. We kind of called it an Artist Share Expo, All Art Expo, and we were hosted by Westminster Presbyterian Church, which is the church I work for, and um, we shared music, we, um, we shared photography, we shared um, visual art, and even we also had a quilter here today. So it's, it's a broad gamut that we covered, and it just gave people a safe place to come and share your art and to make new friends. And is there a lot of uh, talent in this community? I think there is a ton of talent in this community. Um, I mean, there's so many things through the Arts Council, um, through the Infinity Program, through the schools that is a catalyst for that. 
and it's our hope as a church and as a community that you know we can be a part of those catalysts that help people create and um, feel you know, good about themselves. I really think art is important because it gives us an outlet. Um, sometimes life can be difficult and challenging, and I think that if you can find an outlet that is healthy, um, art can really be one of those things to help you kind of work through stuff. And um, even for myself, I mean, if I hadn't learned how to write poetry at a certain age, you know, that would have been really a tough thing for me. Um, but because I learned how to do that, had a teacher that took the time, um, it made a big difference in my life. Um, and I think when we are sharing really the things that um, our lives are made up of, um, art can be a really good catalyst for that. And it can be also, I mean, partnering it with um, the church, it makes sense. So any advice for novice artists who might be a little hesitant to share their artwork? If you're nervous about sharing what you do, um, don't be nervous. <laughs> um, just really try to keep in mind we're just a friendly group of people that it's really, we try to maintain that safe, um, encouraging environment that you would have had when you were a kid and you brought something for show and tell. Um, it's just to be a encouraging thing. So you don't have to necessarily have to be a professional musician? Or... No, you don't have to be a professional musician. You don't have to be a published writer. You don't have to have that because um, I think that would limit really who could participate and that's not our goal. We want to try to build the community. All right, thanks James. Now the next Artist Share event is scheduled for Saturday, February 16th at the YWCA Lake Lodge in Lakewood and will focus on the theme of labyrinth.